We hear a post game with head coach Sparky McEwen, Myron Harris, Jeremiah Jackson, uh, coach, a tough 28 to 10 loss to Ferris State University here uh, today at the at the farm. You guys led 10 7 at half. It really seemed like that second half kickoff, 100 yards for them, really changed momentum. How did you see it? You know, first of all, um, when you're playing against the you know, defending national champions and their backs are against the wall, you got to play a four quarter game. You know, against them, and you know, credit to them that you know they came out in the second half, and um, you know, you open up the second half, and they run all the way back. It's you know, for the most part, pretty much deflating. Uh, but at the same time, it's part of the game. You gotta, you gotta suck it up. You know, get back after it, and um, you know, you can't turn the ball over five times. You know, to a good football team. You know, and when you do things like that, it's 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 one of the things that will come back and uh, bite you. You know, on a defensive side, Jeremiah, you guys did really well. Only gave up 14 points to a team that averages 42 a game. How pleased were your guys with your performance on the defensive end? Oh, it was wonderful. Had a great week of practice. Keep on getting better and better, better on better days. Doing what we can do to list their yards, get them offense back to ball, let them do their work. How hard is it to prepare for three different quarterbacks that you can see during the course of a game? Um, it's pretty hard, but everybody is kind of accurate in his lead. Everybody has one quarterback around, one quarterback who can throw the ball. You just got to key on those elements. You know, Myron, for you, not only uh, led us in rushing, but I had a couple of receptions out of the backfield, including a touchdown in that first quarter. Go through that play with us, 21-yard touchdown pass. I mean, we'll just, you know, he was credited to, you know, Coach Russ for believing in me and trusting that I was going to, you know, execute the play. But, I mean, you know, we see what the defense was giving us, and we just took advantage of what they were giving us. You know, in terms of receiving the ball, it's something that uh, you don't have a ton of catches this year. Was that something more of the game plan in this contest to get you more involved in the passing game? Yeah, I mean, just coming to DU in general was emphasized that, you know, that I'll be used more in the passing game and in the running game to not just be, you know, like one-dimensional. So when I get going in, in both of those areas, it, it makes our offense and our team that much more dangerous. You know, Coach, for you, uh, Jason Whitaker looked like he might have been banged up. It didn't seem like he was 100% himself here today, and you had mentioned some of the turnovers. Um, how healthy do you want to get him for that game next week? Yeah, he got banged up early in that, uh, I think it was, uh, what, the first first drive, yeah, you first know, time. and uh, to his credit, man, he's a warrior. He tried to, to stay in there, and um, it got to the level of I felt like we needed to um, bring him out because – I want him to be able to protect himself. You know, he wanted to stay in the game, but that's just how tough a football player he is. But, um, you know, safety, you know, became an issue where, you know, uh, I noticed how he was very gingerly as he was walking. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know what, man, you got to make sure that our, our players stay as healthy as they could possibly, you know, be because this is a tough game, you know. So then we came back with Grant, and I felt like Grant came in, and he was pretty solid in, in being thrust into that duty. Obviously, you guys go into next week, still have a chance to share for the GLIAC Championship. So what are you looking forward to in that contest at GVSU next week? It's another opportunity. It's another opportunity. And these young men know that this is what we talk about. You know, we don't get caught up into, you know, what um, is being said out there, you know, one way or the other. These guys know it's, it's about the guys in that locker room. Um, that, was a real, that was the defending national champions that – we just went toe to toe with, and our guys know in that locker room that we're able to play that level of football, you know. And um, you know, obviously, with our guy, you know, going down, um, that pretty much put us at, you know, um, a tough situation, you know, to go out and compete. And and I think Ferris did a really good job of continuing to apply that pressure, you know, on us, you know. So uh, hats off to them. Um, we got to go back to the drawing board, go back to work. We got one more opportunity at a GLIAC championship because that was our goal coming into the season, you know, getting a GLIAC championship and making a postseason. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.